Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, including topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! This is me. Look at the mirror. We are both alive. We have tiny structures called cells. organs are very important for our body to function properly. Organs that work together form organ systems. An organ system consists of various organs or many organs which work in coordination to perform a common function. Yung organ system ay mas kilala natin as body systems. Just like the skeletal system, muscular system, nervous system, at ang isang example na makikita natin sa picture is the nervous system, which contains the brain. The brain, together with our nerves and spinal cord, work together to regulate or to control the processes in our body. And when organ systems work together in harmony, they form an organism. An organism is an individual that possesses all the characteristics of the species to which it belongs. We are homo sapiens, so we contain or we possess all the characteristics of homo sapiens, including the ability to think intelligently. When we speak of humans and animals being organisms, we are actually multicellular organisms. But did you know that there are also organisms which are unicellular or composed of only one cell? These are bacteria. 
This bacteria is an example of a Staphylococcus, which is commonly found in our skin. They are unicellular cells. It's good time! That ends our topic about the levels of biological organization. It was very short, but let me check whether you really learned something by answering this 3-minute quiz. After 3 minutes, we will check. Time is up. Let's check if your answers are correct. You will identify the level of biological organization to which the picture belongs. Number one, we have the small and large intestines. This is an organ belonging to the digestive system, which is its organ system. But the answer here is organ. Number two, we have this. This is a cell. As you can see, it's a cytoplasm nucleus. And if you are familiar with these terms, you will immediately answer cell here. We will discuss more about cells in our video tomorrow. Number three, we have a cat. A cat is a multicellular organism, just like us. Number four, we have the lungs. Ang lungs ay isang organ belonging to the respiratory system last one number five that's a mushroom a mushroom is also a multicellular organism let me see your scores over five kindly comment it down in the comment section below that ends our shensha amazing episode for today don't forget to subscribe like and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together bye